Hey guys, Zach here at eTrailer.com. Today I have the Thule Hitching Post Pro on our 2020 Nissan Pathfinder. This is going to be a really nice hanging style bike rack. Uh, it's time tested and I think it's going to do a really good job of just getting your bikes to the park or to the trail. We've got several people around here who've had this bike rack for a long time. Customers really like it. It holds up well. And it's the Thule brand, like they are very well known for making solid bike racks and this one's no different. Um, let's take a closer look at how this one's held in place. So this is going to have these rubber straps that pull around. Uh, these can be a little tough at first, they're pretty stiff. We've used this one a few times so they're a little loose. But if you look at this one back here, we've not had this one loaded up a whole lot. They've got a little bit of stretch to them right out of the, the gate. but. They are gonna be fairly stiff, especially getting over those little knobs there. But I think they do a really good job of holding in place. Now, some people have said over time, if you leave this rack on for a long time, this rubber will eventually kind of get soft and maybe weak. You may break it after it's been exposed to the elements for a while, but we definitely have replacement parts for this. Uh, so you can keep this bike rack running for a long time. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna take this off and take a closer look. Uh, before I do that, though, I will show you this anti-sway cradle. Uh, the anti-sway cradle is a really nice feature that hanging style racks, uh, a lot of them are going to have nowadays, but some of the other entry-level racks may not have it. And what that does is that cuts that sway down. So there's a little bit there, but if you didn't have that, you see how close these are going to sit to each other? Those bikes are going to make contact with one another. And this one up here would probably hit your mast here, especially those pedals. So that's a nice thing to have in place. And those straps are the same way on top and that anti-sway. Now one problem that hanging style racks have, especially with anti-sway, is that getting bikes off, you're gonna get caught up on stuff. You know, your bottle holder is gonna get caught on something. This frame is pretty average size, but if you had like a smaller frame or just kind of a alternative frame bike, it may, you know, have a little maneuvering getting off there. You can see it kind of have to get it over there. Not too challenging, but it's nice that you can rotate those up and out of the way. Now let's take a closer look at these cradles. They're kind of like a harder plastic, but they've got like a rubber coating on them. That's kind of nice. And you see these grooves right here. These are going to do a good job of allowing those brake cables um, and so it's kind of sit down there and take some of the pressure off of them so you don't have any, you know, pinched cables, which is nice. You don't have to put these straps back in place, but I like to keep mine uniform whenever I'm not using my bike rack. You know, if you're just taking your bike off at the trail, you can leave them, leave them alone. Uh, all hanging style racks are going to have this issue, and that's where the center mass is going to keep your hatch from opening up. So this one, you can pull this pin and clip out down here. You can lower that down. Do not do this with bikes on. You can see how low that is. Like It's going to create all kinds of issues if you try to do that with your bikes on. And we're going to have full hatch access. So then you can get anything out that you need to. That way, if you want to leave this rack on all the time, I see this bike rack on cars all the time on my commute. So people definitely leave it on. It's easy to get in place. If you gotta throw groceries back there, put that clip back in place. Be sure to get that rotate around so you can get it secured. And I'm gonna give you a measurement to show you how much this adds to the back of the vehicle. So this is going to add about 38 and a half inches. So what you can do when you're in a parking spot or you're leaving it on all the time is we can come up here to this pin and clip and pull that out, rotate that down, line up that hole right there, put that pin and clip back in, and that reduces that down quite a bit. You can see that'll take us to about you know, with these straps kind of sticking out a little bit and the cradles, that's going to be about 16 and a half inches. So that's not too bad. This will block the view of the rear view camera. You know, you'll see some stuff on the side there, but the direct 
right below it will be blocked. Um, let's give you a measurement here to show you the closest point. And that's gonna be this little loop right here. Uh, I like that this is a nice little feature. Uh, you can take like a bike cable through this, wrap it up around your bikes. Probably need one that's fairly long there to secure all four of them. And then you can uh, lock those in place. But that's going to be six and a quarter inches away from our bumper right here. There's plenty of room there. And then our lowest point down here is going to be 11 and a quarter inches. That's gonna be straight up from our hitch here that we have on today. That's not super low, it's not super high. You may run into some contact and steep situations, but most driving conditions, I think you'll be just fine. We can take a closer look down here at the hitch, how this attaches to the vehicle. We have it in a two inch hitch today, but it has this sleeve around it that we can take off with the included tool and it'll work with inch and a quarter hitches, which is really nice if you have another vehicle at home that has an inch and a quarter, or if you just want to lend it out to a friend. Uh, that way, it's kind of universal. Some bike racks only work with two inches. Some only work with inch and a quarter. This is nice because it's versatile. It also is going to have an anti-rattle bolt included that's going to secure it to the pinhole. And that takes all the shake and play out of your bike rack. Uh, if we didn't have that in there, this bike rack would be loose. So you can see there's a little play on the sides there. There'd be some movement up and down, side to side. It's going to make for a nice quiet rack because uh, you definitely don't want that rattling around when you're going down the road. But overall, I think this is a really good rack. It's a favorite around here when it comes to hanging style racks. Um, it does a really good job of holding your bikes in place and getting them to where you need to go. But that's going to do it for our look at the Thule Hitching Post Pro on our 2020 Nissan Pathfinder. Here on our test course, we'll start by going through the slalom. This is going to show us the side-to-side -side action. This simulates turning corners or evasively maneuvering. Once we get to the alternating speed bumps, we'll see the twisting action. This will simulate hitting a curb or a pothole or driving over uneven pavement. Once we get to the full speed bumps, we'll see the up and down action. This will be just like driving in and out of a parking lot, parking garage, or driveway. 